So I started working uh, in front of the camera early, like at about 14. Mm -hmm. I lived very close to Ottawa, which was um, a government town, so I did a ton of industrial videos. And that's where I like cut my teeth. It's a mandate in the Canadian government that you see multiculturalism. You know, so this is in the mid, in the mid 80s. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so then I was kept the smallest part, the smallest part, <laughs> but still, I'm I'm there. I'm there. I'm I'm working. I understand what a camera is. I'm learning all this stuff, and it just benefited me. I was in the front of a camera a lot, and I spoke French. So look, she's a girl. She's Korean, and she speaks French. So I did both the French version and the English version of all these industrial videos. So that was my door in. So even though I knew it was oh you're going to be the, the best friend, let's say that classic part. You, you can't be the teller of the story. I knew myself, I knew enough that it's like, I don't, I don't care at this point. I'm going to cut my teeth this way. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that gave me a, a very good um, kind of background. I also had really great training. I, you know, I was really lucky I, I had great training. So when I got out of theater school, I gotta knock something, that's wood. Um, <clears throat> I just was, uh, this is when you also, when you have um, time and you can see things in retrospect that you realize, oh, I was born under a very lucky star. When I graduated uh, the National Theater School, there were three things that were in development already. Canada Council, the CBC, all these things. And that was uh, a feature film, uh, a film for television, and a really beautiful short film that all the lead parts, the storyteller, was basically a 20 year old Asian Canadian woman. And then so I got all of them in one year. I did all that in one year. And, and they were all successful. And so moving into a very, the, the star system in Canada, which is different and much more compact, let's say, I just moved up into it, right? Because when you do a movie and when you do all these things, as it, should be you move up into and it's received well and all that it can't, it can't be crap um it, it, you you move up into uh, a, an echelon let's say where then you could potentially work more where there's this you you're lauded for this blah 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 blah, blah. It, it, it should move your career forward and it did and it had and it still remains in canada i do feel i've never felt Really, I, I've always felt accepted as a, a, a leading person, a leading character, the storyteller in Canada. And I know it has to do with how I left theater school because I went from, you know, you're doing Three Sisters, you're doing, you know, Love's Labor's Lost, that kind of stuff. And um, then you move right into being the storyteller. So I know for me that that time was so uh, informative because my belief system was, was I went into a place where I could practice, I could practice who I was. But then when I shifted then, because right after that I moved to the, the States. I moved from Toronto to Los Angeles and then I realized there's a whole, boom, boom. oh there was a whole other system here. You know, the US is different than Canada. I'm stating the obvious. And I think in some ways Canadians can feel this more acutely than Americans can. But it's a feeling of weight, almost, um, that I know the social structures in Canada are similar, but I felt in some ways were smaller or lighter or easier to break through. And coming here, I could just feel the weight. It's like when you come in here, you come to LA, you can feel all the actors around. You can feel the, you can feel, you can, feel, you can, you can just feel it. Just go to any cafe, you can feel it. And I, and I think that's what I felt was, I can feel coming here, the weight of the system uh, that you just know inherently growing up as a woman and as a woman who is not white, um, that there's a weight in a, in a, a harder, um, a more potentially a more challenging um, road to get what you want. And that was the case. So lucky, <laughs> I got a job when I, got, when I came here. I got a job and I got a green card. I got a show on HBO, which lasted 
Seven seasons. Emotions have no cash value. You know, if I get you really drunk sometime, will you tell me what happened to you as a kid? Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? People still don't. People still don't know, know now regarding that regarding Arlos. But, but like, yeah. So, but even though I um, was on a show and working, the ideas of and I think race kind of comes into this a little bit more for me. Um, as a as a young, I was in my early twenties when I came here. Um, it was very very difficult to um, move up the ladder if we're going to use that kind of vertical metaphor to becoming more of the storyteller in in the, the film world, in the, in the television world at that time.